everyone. I'm so happy you want to knit with me today. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to knit a cozy, chunky scarf. And for that, you need some chunky wool, as many as you like, depending on how long you want your scarf to be, and some circular knitting needles. So these are 10 millimeters big and 80 centimeters long. So grab your needles and your yarn and let's get knitting. Grab a yarn and your needles right here and we're going to start with casting on the any amount of stitches you want for the size of your scarf and I want a really big chunky one so I'm going to cast on a lot of stitches therefore so this is called the tail so the amount of yarn you want on your tail is basically two and a half, three times the width of your project. That's kind of where I go to for measuring. So if I want, let's say, this wide of a scarf, then I go two, almost three times the width, and here I'm gonna make my slip knot. So let's start with that. So for making a slip knot, I wrap the yarn around my fingers, cross them over, slide the loop off and just pull the yarn through like that super simple then we grab our needle and just pull the circle tighter or the, the knot tighter so now for casting on i so we have the tail and we have the working yarn and the working yarn i place in between my index finger and my long finger and the tail above my thumb like this and then I grab both yarns with the rest of my fingers like that so next step needle underneath the thumb like that and over the yarn by the index finger pull that through the loop and then we just pull it tight like that so again underneath the yarn by the thumb over the one by the index finger and pull it through the loop and tighten again underneath over pull through and tighten so just cast on any amount you want for the width of your scarf there's no right or wrong just keep going until it feels right and just stop right there So now I have the right amount of stitches for the width of my scarf. Next step is to start knitting. And the first technique I'm going to show you is knit stitch. And I'm right handed. So this is from the perspective I'm showing. So we have the working yarn behind our left needle. With the right needle, we go in from the front in the loop, grab the yarn and pull it through like that. And then we just slide it off. Again, insert the needle from the front in the loop, catch the yarn, pull it through, and just slide it off. One more time, through the loop from the front, grab the yarn, pull it through like that, and just slide it off. And just keep going all the way to the end of the row. I'm going to knit the final two stitches on my row and there I'm done. Now we're just going to turn our work over and make sure that nothing is twisted like that. All right. So the next stitch I'm going to teach you is the purl stitch. And you remember with the knit stitch, we had the working yarn behind the needle. Now we're going to use it in front of the needle. So bring it up front with the right needle, basically the same thing. We go in, in the front of the loop, grab the yarn and pull it through like that. So in front of the needle, underneath, in from the front of the loop, 
get the yarn underneath the needle and pull it through like that and just slide it off. So again, underneath, get the yarn under the needle, pull through, slide off. Let me show you a few more times. So underneath, hook the yarn like that and pull through, slide it off. And just keep knitting your purl stitches all the way to the end of the row. Depending on how big your project is, you might have to add more yarn along the way. And this is how I tie two strings of yarn together. First, we grab one of the yarns and tie a knot around the other string, like this, and then we pull it really tight. With the other one, we repeat the same thing. So tie a knot, like this, and pull it really tight. Make sure both are really tight so they get small. And then we just pull them together like this. And then we can just cut the ends off like that. And now we can keep knitting. So I just wanna check in and show you what it looks like so far. So here we have one side and this is what the other side looks like. So there's no right or wrong. It's just like they, do, they look differently depending on the stitches. Um, and just keep knitting until you reach the length of your scarf. And in the next step, I will show you how we finish the edge when we're done. Let's finish the project with a simple cast off. So to start with, we just make two knit stitches. Like this. And then the first one or the back one, we're just gonna slide that one on top of the first one, like that. And then we make another knit stitch. And again, the back one, we're just gonna slide it on top of the first one. So we do this with every stitch all the way to the end of the row. So a knit stitch with the back one, we just slide it over like that. Now we're almost at the end of the row. So I'm just gonna make the two final ones. And here we have the last one. Now you have a very clean, nice looking edge. So to finish, we just pull the thread so you make a big loop. Remove the knitting needles, grab a scissor and just cut the thread. And we just pull the yarn all the way through. Sorry, make a loop, pull the yarn all the way through the loop. So you make a knot. Like that. Now you can just hide the yarn either alongside here or in the back. I like to work with the crochet needle when I hide my yarn, so I just go back and forth like this. You can do it any way you like. Like that. Maybe one more time like this. And just lock it in somewhere. Something like this. And when you're ready, why is it messing with me? When you're ready, just grab a scissor and cut the thread. And we're done. And if you haven't already, so this is the final on this side. And if you haven't already hidden the first tail we had when we made our slip knot. You can just do the same thing. 
like go back and forth a few times and then just cut this off as well. Maybe one more time. Like that. Look at that. Now we're done with the scarf. Great job. You made it your very own super cozy scarf. Great job. So thank you so much for knitting with me and me today. Don't forget to check out more of our amazing videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.